if I can say something uh, regarding team selection and the people, we all have our opinions on who should be selected, who should play. Uh, but I think one thing that we can learn from the Germans is that once when uh, a squad is selected, then the people, they stand behind the squad. After the tournament, they, they can criticize. Uh, and that is the difference between Germans and most others. We'd like to see as many players play and give them a chance to play uh, before we select the Gold Cup squad. That is one thing. Number two, uh, a lot of or almost all of the FIFA window will be official matches. So it gives us a very little time when it, when it comes to 24 at least to, to do tests on players. So it's good to be able to see at least the younger players. If they play or not much, I don't know, but we would like to see them because it's not all about the 90 minutes. The players stay on the pitch. It's about how they behave in our squad, how they, how they do in a camp that is a week how they do in our working environment. So on the pitch, off the pitch is, is equally important for us. So we like to get to know the players both on and off the pitch. That is one thing. Young players need, of course, experienced players with them. Uh, and we expect now we have four players, if I remember, around 30 plus. So it's Sule, uh, Kema Foster, it's uh, Rabel and uh, Mats, of course a little bit older than the others, so we expect them to be the leaders uh, in this camp to, to give from their experience to the younger kids, uh, both on the pitch and off the pitch. When will you have the full squad together? Uh, so tomorrow uh, the guys from England will play. Today was just to meet the players to see how well they came off this weekend matches and it seems that most of them are fit and ready to go for full training tomorrow, so that was one of the reasons we, we started them today just to get them here to, to see how, how how last weekend treated them. Mm -hmm. But tomorrow afternoon, I think the whole squad will be here. Yeah. How many games <clears throat> consecutively do you intend to give the young ones? In this what they need, what they need. So we have now two games against Trinidad, a lot of young players in the squad. And I think we counted 12 players without a senior cap. So it's a lot of unexperienced players. So as you you would guess that we cannot play them all at the same time, but uh, but we for sure see some new faces play for Jamaica, and hopefully they will do good. If they do good, then they they will get another chance sooner, maybe rather than later. But at least it's their chance now to show both in these minutes that we play Trinidad, but also on the sessions and off the sessions or meeting and how they behave in the group to take their place and then the right. What will it take for any of these youngsters to? Continue to be a part of your squad going forward. Just to show that they are listening to the tactical information that we are trying to implement. Also, the the mental aspect of being a professional in this environment is is good. It's, it's good. It's necessary. And then to take the chance when they get it on the pitch. But most of us will judge a player by the minutes they get on the pitch. But it's for me, it's so much more than that. You have some UK players that are probably on the verge or interested in um, representing Jamaica in the future. Um, how important it is to make sure that you get them into this kind of environment and are the players that you've called up for this camp are those players that you have had them earmarked to, um, to represent Jamaica and make the full switch? No, most of these players already have played youth national team games mm -hmm. for Jamaica. I think most of them have. So they were already on our list of play possible players in the future. Now. Uh, a friendly gives us a chance to think further than today, further than winning this match. We, we, we of course, has, have already started thinking about 2026. And the guys who are now 19, 20, 23 years old, 2026. So, yeah, it gives us a, a, a chance to look further ahead in time. And that is great for a coach to, to be able to do that. But of course, we like to win. And I know that we will be just the one if we win or lose. It's not if we are thinking two years ahead, three years ahead, or four years ahead. In the last interview we had at, uh, on the field, as a captain out there, you did say that the local base players could have an advantage if they assimilate your, your thoughts and, uh, and your philosophy well. Mm -hmm. uh, are you seeing any? That are, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Maybe some would deserve to be in the squad from their performance. Some of them maybe are a little bit older than I wanted. Uh, but but anyway, it's it's this is a chance now for these guys. Then we have other matches, and then maybe we see new faces from the local league. Uh, and then if somebody will really perform and act well in the group, then we will see them again. And this is the chance for these guys to, to stake a claim in the, in the squad against Mexico. Is, is there an age limit to the players that you are looking at? Is, is, so you say, I'm not going to pick, because you mentioned that 19 will be 23 yeah. at the World Cup. Is it that you're looking at, say, uh, 27 will make your squad, 29 will make your squad now? No, no, it's, it's, it's basically what I'm saying with the selection. We have a 18 year old or a 17 year old here, and we have a 35 year old. So I'm not. No, if, if a player is good enough, he's good enough. If he is if he is 17 or if he is 40, if he's good enough, then we should select him. Now it's a friendly, it's more like testing. So I take, for example, now uh, Max for his, his experience because he's in that position that we can help a lot of the players. But in, in general, in, in a, on a Fisher match, of course, we just select the best players. I know that you think a lot. I mean, you, you you think in the future. So try to you're not you're not somebody who thinks today. What percentage of this squad that you've selected now could represent Jamaica at the Gold Cup coming up in, in June? It's, it's not basically me who is, who's going to answer that question. It's them who will answer that question, especially after next week. And we, you can ask me this again, and, and we can evaluate who, who did well and who, who, who did not well. But but uh, everyone has a chance, and I hope. I'm showing it. I, I, I'm taking kids from the, from school football, and I'm taking players from the highest level in, in, in football from 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 England. And so so it, it really is not where they come from. They are. We're not selected by some criteria at this moment. Have you seen all members of the squad selected, or did you select some on recommendation? Have you personally seen them play all of them? I, no, I cannot say I've, I've seen. Uh, Delano and Dante. So it's based on prior what they did prior. And Dante is coming from an injury, so he hasn't played for a while. And he's more taken here to, to see him on the on the training session. So I don't expect to, to play him because he's coming from an injury, but I like to see him. Uh, so it's two, three players I haven't seen much. Same with uh, Hutchinson, I haven't seen him much, only the matches he played for Chelsea, I've, I've seen nothing these minutes. So it's, yeah, it's more or less from what I've heard, from my, what I'm recommend, uh, what have been recommended, and what my kind of basic knowledge of football tells me to do. You talked previously about when overseas players come here um, to try and make sure they get in an environment to make sure that not only they're comfortable, but they're in the right place in terms of the to be successful um, with the kids that you've brought over from the UK. Is this a kind of preview of what you're trying to do in terms of recruitment wise, in terms of um, the policy, what did we see more UK based players or we will, or will it be in terms of a mix of the, the local base? No, there's, uh, there's a lot of questions. In <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I hope this is something that will, I, I will continue to be open-minded about players. I hope we will attract interest of good players who want to play for Jamaica. And I know most of these players, the young players here, will not help me in the short run, but they will help Jamaica in the future. And that is how we should think, because the future will come whether we will be ready or not. So I will not get the credit. There will be probably the next coach or, or the third, uh, as, as Jamaica has been hiring coaches, probably the fourth or fifth coach from me will 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 benefit from this but no this is how we should and hopefully we can we can we can change that thought process to, to think further ahead mm -hmm. uh, not only what what is good for me today mm -hmm. what type of football are you expected to play attacking football or a defensive type football what's your plan my, my plan will be to win to win the matches so if we if we need to attack with attacking football to win the game we will do that if we play Argentina and we know we need to defend then we, we will do that but we will 
we will be hopefully uh, a well drilled uh, compact unit when we don't have the ball whether that means dropping back or pressing high uh, it depends on the opponent it depends on who we are playing but when we have the ball i hope we can be free flowing free flowing and using the strength of jamaican which is speed and flair and players who, who can take opponents on so that is my wish if we can succeed with that hopefully what do you know about Trinidad and what can we expect? Honestly, uh, I've been focusing on Jamaica and I think that's well, well worth all the time I have to focus on Jamaica and the Jamaican footballers. So I've had help from good people to scout uh, Trinidad. Uh, my assistant coaches, both Meron and, and John, will have the meeting, the, the videos ready for that, but I've had really good help scouting uh, Trinidad. Uh, the, the same for me, again, uh, for Mexico, I will do more scouting of, of Mexico. Um, but anyways, my job is to focus on the guys that wear the, the yellow shirts. Is it the practice game that you can take with Guatemala and the Trinidad and Tobago? Are they specific to what you want, what you're looking for? Or is it a situation where you take the top one that are available? No, no, that, that was available. I grabbed it with both arms because I wanted to see as many players as possible for the Gold Cup this summer. Because, you know, I'm, I, I only started January officially to work for Jamaica. So, two months for a coach is, is not enough time to, to see all the players that are available to play. So, to have many matches before the selection helps me tremendously. <laughs> Coach, these will be your first games on home soil. How much are you looking forward to this experience? Playing at home? Yeah, I, I, I very much look forward to it. I hope the, the, the pitch in Mobay will be as good as this one. This is the best one I have seen. Uh, so I hope the, the Mobay pitch will be will be ready and we, we can play a, a good football. But I hope as well that um, that the, the the people, the fans will come and support these, these, these boys. Um, if I can say something, uh, regarding team selection and the people, we all have our opinions on who should be selected, who should play. Uh, but I think one thing that we can learn from the Germans is that once when uh, a squad is selected, then the people, they stand behind the squad. After the tournament, they, they can criticize. Uh, and that is the difference between Germans and most others. Maybe you're not happy, but you support the players that will represent you as a nation so you should you should gather behind these kids these these boys these players and and come to the pitch and and we will probably show a better performance if we have more people supporters